court the scene properly, you sometimes lose players Stop, swapping games. And now that is a shock dart by the book. Spike is already getting a good bit of damage. Nymera starting off with a triple. If this man starts his career with an ace, I'm speechless. This cannot happen. This is scripted. This is unreal. This is a fantasy world. But he's going for it. I kind of wish it. I kind of want to see that he will dare to do it. It would be not describable that this man starts his career like that. Swing it, see the shoulder, do me the favor, stab her and he should get it. Please do me the favor, Navira, swing, let it do it, and he gets that ace. How do you want to start a career with a bang. G wanted to keep him, says a lot about how much potential he could have, but he's about to peek into two players, one of which is Utility oh. and I wasn't expecting it. He finds the god timing onto both those two players. And, you know, a few of those cracks that we see from TL starting to show, but Link's there to just make sure it doesn't get too out of hand. Bear in mind, it's still a pretty low buy for TL as well. Uh. Slowcast getting a lot of information there. We've seen great impact throughout the day by awesome Sova players. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Soul cast to sort of have that momentum. From Leo, for example, that we saw. So. Yeah, I mean, worked out perfectly. I and mean, maybe Link's the same on this controller roll. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's uh, the nasty. dissipate, the dissipate. That's what we're calling it. Nice little, not quite a swoop peek because you don't have the Viper, but it's a nice idea. And he continues no to be way. a menace. No way. They're not finding a dart in time, and that's a bit problematic. Good one to get that shock dart down and elbow. But the retake, that thing's definitely on. Scream was still wandering around the A side. Nice try, but not according to plan. And that retake, let's see how it works. The lockdown is going to come in. The players now moving out of the site as they focus on B main. Uyun is the only one who's close, pushing for the smoke. Oh, this could be good. Oh, this could be nice. But it's only Link he finds. And so the retake's still on. They know that he needs to be somewhere around. Nobody is detained. It is Coffee who's just waiting back in Boathouse. And there's the ping. They know about one player for sure. Zeddy is the other problem because they don't have him on the radar at all. Finds one. But if they isolate it, it could work well. Zeddy has to be eliminated. And that is the case. When it comes to some of the defaults and set strategies, just everything's a little bit different. Liquid, oh. Link are gonna get caught out a little bit quickly. Spike just wanted to close the gap, and Navira's watching and just keeping an eye on with the off. Maybe Scream hasn't been spotted yet. Back in line, he stands, and oh, the Cypher all this coming a millisecond too late. It's buying good enough time. Navera is whiffing one of the shots, but he's moving backwards. Tries to go for the wall bang. This is where you see where he might be a little bit new, as that is obviously not going through, but it's obviously Scream who's making them all a little nervous one enemy and remaining. feeble. The attack that looks so nice for OBG, but it's still Zeddy who's on it. One frag found, and he tries to use his ult, but that ain't happening. Well, it came by the wayside a little bit. True, something they have been massively struggling with. Their, their system just Where not getting anything done, but... All right, allies. that's one hell of a revive. It's only Link back there holding the A-side for the moment. He gets one, spikes down, and the support of Soulcast in the form a. of the Huntress Fury is there. <laughs> Another a. one from Link. As it, you saw, a spike being tacked up, an easy one indeed. Quite some time now. I think so too. As far as I heard, there was some stuff happening even behind after Iceland. So, nevertheless, spike. Taking out Soulcast. Link is gonna get Spike as well, but suddenly there is a man advantage existing in OBG. With the weak weaponry they have, they are still in a quite decent position for the moment. They are missed. Uh, yeah, just missed onto Hoagie and it pulled ahead. The alarm bot was a little <laughs> bit misleading. That's the right thing. he's been quiet because he's frankly just been able to sit there with an up and hold an angle. Like he's not kind of like Waddell or push up and try and scale. He's going to do it now because they still have this little advantage. See what Scream and Yampi can do. Well, they're coming out. Scream as blinded as his opponent down there is. <laughs> Good wall bang there on Coffee. Unfortunately, it didn't connect. And he's considering. He's, he's weighing up his option, finds one. Brilliant stuff. He's baiting a little bit. Yampi, your turn. Ain't happening. But they're retaking the side right now, and they're taking the right moves. Two players to the right hand side, screams on fire. The man's popping off. You got some new energy collected, and Yumpy, it's your turn. Thank you very much for that one, mate. Just been textbook for Liquid. You know, oh. this has been the same sort of default and play. They know that Coffee likes to use the wall to boost up. The Hunter's Fury used on attack to try and create spaces. Done absolutely none of that. Scream is just happy to play. He got the Empress before. He knows that somebody's going to be on the high ground. And the 4K is wanted. Uh -oh. He needs to reload, but he just sets up his brother. He's like, have another one. We're 10-0 up. Look at him. 
happy now, but he could just pull off of it. Soulcast is in a more dangerous area, but he can afford to be. He wants to pull attention for Scream. And with the Killjoy lockdown, it is a retake that's available. Cosmic Divide will maybe help to get a bit closer to the site to put the lockdown on so it doesn't get wallbanged. Spike needs to try and create that space, and the lockdown isn't going to be used, but the Cosmic Divide does get planted. Yep. Very much indeed. The Umpy is getting Spike at least. One more close. That could work for him. One bullet. One bullet is enough. Gets the Sheriff out. Unless he's got a plug of some hits. That ain't happening. Coffee is running out of bullets. Unless he felt like he wasn't safe from shot. Perhaps. But Hugion, he doesn't have to recon die. It was used 15 seconds ago and just takes a peek. Link is expecting it. Coffee playing from the backside. It's not looking good. I would love, I'd love to see more liquid attacking rounds to see what they've been working on, but we yep. might just get the one at this point, especially if Scream is able to find a few more kills. True, remaining. but at the same time, it does look like we're getting any of that. No chance at all. That's not going to happen. A 13-0. We were starting off with an ace from the new player of Liquid, and Spike's finally hitting the site. Spike. In the meantime, a very irritating name, Spike trying to help his teammate there. Coffee eliminated, perfect stuff from Navira. Entry frag from Liquid, got just pretty much done by an electrifying performance of a few shock darts. Navira is ready to get his lineups done, and that could be interesting. Ready, I mean, set, go. Literally, and... Jonas is probably teaching him a lot of these ones to get him up to speed, and there it is. The trap is good. open, and everybody floods in from Liquid. Ogion wanted to try and hold close, but gets a bit more than he bargained. Well, Link even pulling the attention away a second has a lot of first deaths to his name, certainly from that series against London United. I just don't want him to be the one being caught out. This time, it's Spike. And no information gained. So, therefore, Link thinking nobody should be in Garage, but that's a very good guiding light as it gives a valuable piece of information to the side of Liquid Screams out of their very reasonable move. Because there's a lot of pressure on OBG, he could be in every corner, he could be close by, he could be holding this in that angle. But it seems like the decision is to split up entirely, to spike in front of the gates of B, and in the meantime, Coffee already lurking on A. Yeah, he's gone for way long. If he tries to check around on here the alarm bot's going to give him up which is a little bit problematic so yeah there's the reaction coming out of yampi oh no he's sort of watching this spot so huggy on just to check if there's anybody playing in some of these cheeky angles clears the site left. triggers some utility off of the site and then gets killed in the process now we're starting to see screen move over he's going to sort of hold on to a long with a marshal with Zeddy still having three stars, they can smoke it. If they play high contact here, I'm going to be mad. They have utility, and they're just going to face and fight. Been screamed, they're not overextending. They're being very intelligent with what duels they want to face. So many players have just oh. had that instilled and drilled into them. They've just been performing better. And it's still the flashy scream that you expect, but now Spike and Coffee have found an opening. With the Spike being planted, the retake is going to be a difficult one. Scream can still be irritating and annoying, especially when he's Yampi to back him up. Coffee finally coming online, finally looking to lock in one round in this series. Unless Link has something to say, but there's not much time. And now there's neither time nor chances coming in for Link, as he has been an exceptional player oh, no. during that Ascent game, but they're losing the operator. It's hella expensive for a team that just won a round. And the Soulcast might have a bit of a problem there. No, as one of them is standing there elevated. Clear revision now back for him. Spike has to go down. Yampi's utility being used quite well. And as he sucked into the gravity well, no real chance. The man's fully blind. But that brings us in a man advantage for the side of OBG. 12 more seconds. That shock dart doesn't land anywhere. And now it is time for a clutch. Navira. Start off with one of those, as that three versus four scenario is not ideal. Link still flanking around, is making a quite good move, and might just prepare the frack off of Coffee, who has to now move away. Link with another, the double is secured, and here he's setting his star. He's pulling them in, and that means Coffee on his own. Can he clutch that one out? It looks so. It's one more standing on the side of B. It is nobody else than Link, and Coffee's coming in there to save the day for OBG. And this is so unfortunate for Scream because he was trying to help his brother there on the side with the blades he had, but he had to get those Seekers eliminated. And in the meantime, oh, Spike with what a whiff! That's the last thing you want to see. Yumpy is definitely elevated in a dangerous spot, but now he might have a good surprise momentum as suddenly Link is getting another. This is a two versus two. This is winnable, but this is a shot Yumpy whiffs. It's only one more standing, and it's Zeddy who chimes in as well. Game systems that we've had since stage three started and Breeze was added in. 
the Scream off a little bit is an interesting one. Soulcast was trying to sort of play off of Scream, but there's trade-outs with the big sniper rifle. And Spike has had some impact, but he's also spaghettied a lot of rounds, to say <laughs> the Like, just some of the stuff that he's done leaves me scratching my very bald and now molding head with some of those plays. Well, let's hope that's not going to be a play that leaves us with our hat scratching. OBG is sneaking over on the C side. Link now most Nothing definitely on the radar. Uses the smoke in his favor, but he got to make a move. Zeddy is going to be eliminating him, but Scream is still there to keep on fighting. The Hunter's Fury is not getting much more. And there's the counterpart. Here it goes. Navira is using it wisely. Tax one, and he knows someone is more towards his left-hand side. That deals some damage to his brother, but it doesn't matter. That spike goes down. Yep, valid information. And now he's like, why did you use the shock dart there? Oh no, that's unfortunate with, but I mean, that can happen from time to time. The triple, the third kill already secured for Scream. He's looking for more, but not with coffee. Navira now needs to clean the side. Gets the one over there onto Huggion, and now it's one more. It's done and dusted. The clutch is secured. The operator brought home. And this is giving you a lot. This is giving you a lot of game sense. This is giving you a lot of understanding in first-person shooters with Scream. Hold on. Th that's that's an awkward duel, but okay. Let it be, let it be. <laughs> I think there's a there's definitely a, a sense of just no fear from Liquid right now. Yeah. Which could blow back. I think it would be nice to see OBG make this map close in a similar vein to what we saw from Anubis yesterday. Really shows that there are problems in how the maps are selected that can very much be exploited. And considering OBG didn't ban out Ascent, I think that's pretty much SMB's map pick, if th that's the game that we see tomorrow. True. So we'll have to really come to terms with that overall, but now OBG are making things difficult, and Yampi, two with the op. There's, there's not too many opportunities for him, and milliseconds away from being killed right there. Do. It's difficult to read a team that is very early on. It's like new poker players. They're the hardest to play up against for professionals just because they're complete wild cards. And maybe with OBG, this Cosmic Divide, it might be more of the same. Scream mm. wants to check it out for a bit more info. That tries to have a surprise and gets at least two. That's a perfect teamwork in combination with Soulcast. As Nera is using that Cosmic Divide in his own favor, no stabs have been hurt there on short, but it doesn't change the fact that Yampi is getting Mins and Hagion on long, eliminated as well. Backing off, they're leaving them that A site. Yeah, I like the fact that the Cosmic Divide, whilst it's not being used as a retake, it is forcing Hagion to bring out that Aldra, and it doesn't really get that much information. There is a lockdown still available for Yampi. Now it's going to come in on time. Link just kind of gets the timing a little bit off, but still gets the kill nonetheless onto Coffee. Now more util has been planted. Mincer just trying to escape. The screen might be able to at least get halfway at this point. And for some reason, Zeddy walks back into the kill trial and gets detained. And not only that, for another reason, they didn't they didn't start defusing. The, the, the ult was blocking that, but either way, Link starts. Okay, goes on. There comes the right click. Yampi whiffs. This is not good. This is not ideal. The spike defuser has been killed. But it should be enough. That's that's working out. To close out this map. Teddy wants to try and take those fights. Ooh. It's a nice little duel and an Spike angle to down, catch on to Scream. And this is where Liquid, you know, have to try and clean up after themselves and just going to reset off of the B site entirely. Ouch. Yeah, I'll be getting dinked. But that's a bit of information at least gained. Spike knows in front of A. There's nothing really awaiting us for the moment, you have to say. That's a very important detail added to it. But Spike is in a... Kind of, I mean, he can dash away, don't get me wrong, but that thing's gone then. Players might be chasing after him. Good dink on Soul Cast. He's still going for it. Finally, he dashes away. Is not going to be inflicting anything by that gravity well. And so, Liquid changed direction towards Garage it is. One breath hold has just been very passive. Sort of anchoring onto these positions. Mince is not actually going to be spotted by the recon dart. Just finds a nice little position for it. But the follow up is there with utility and Yampi. Now he's only 9 HP. Soulcast didn't have to heal anyway. Yep. So whilst the plant does go in for Liquid, one breath oh, peppered them down. Brought it just to Nevera. Yeah, and that man got to perform right now. Can he get many kills out of that? Not one at all. Spike him in with the lurk over C Long. Now realizes that it's clear from the back of his util, 
Liquid going to find that open site. It's going to be a really tough retake considering the buy is heavily in favor in Team Liquid. But if OBG can take a couple of guns out wow. of their hands, the de lockdown dedicated. Okay. OBG, just be a pain. You can give up this round. Make Team Liquid bleed a little more. Oh, hold on. He's trying to find the kill with Minza for sure. Ball for swinging. Good try, good opportunity. And only a few HP left, Otto. But they're trying to make it expensive, and that might work. Specifically considering Rossetti stands right now. He's just hoping for it. He prays for it. But at the same time, it's again with so low HP that they're just going to exit over their spawn. And unfortunately for Zeddy, not much is coming except Soul Cast. He saw the shoulder, right? He saw it. He saw the shoulder. Nope. Oh, um, maybe. I don't know. And so seeing what he can do together with Huggyon. That's a nice opportunity. Yampi has a quite nice flank, though, as he waits back into Garage Window. He's once more swinging against Zeddy. Hits a good timing once more. And so Navera and Yampi still. In a two versus three situation, can turn this one around. He sticks it. The box is still bangable, but it's only one more. Oh, Navira is jumping around. But finally, he falls. I can just imagine it overall. There's been some nice little switcheroos across the day. Very interesting. I'm getting whiplash of how these games have been swinging. Yeah. But if it swings the direction of OBG, that's certainly a talking point, whichever way you look at it. And that's all down to Zeddy for the most part. His position given up. Ooh. Team Liquid is there to capitalize. I mean, considering the weaponry we saw, but no! Oh, it's another barrel that has been spotted! But in the meantime, somewhere around the map, Spike is finding a triple. Nivera is out, and same goes for Link, as well as Soulcast. Useful ability that has been gone. Oh, he's dashing over. This is good from Spike. And now Minz is turning that one around. Spike with his daggers is being detained. This means a crucial part of the retake is walking there with his hands like it would be in handcuffs, but now they're moving on as they try to take out the players on side. That's a quite decent dart. We saw Navira still taking out Spike, and that could have been a quite good one. No chance at all. Huggion tries his best, but the Amphi short process and sealing the deal. A lot of that success can be found. Cosmic Divide is going to come out of Link, and Scream's taking a lot of space, going to peek on top of the big stack of boxes to sort of push on through, but Zeddy's closed that distance. Yep. Got this could make or break the round. Oh, and that's problematic, but Scream, he's eliminated. Spike's considering his next move as once he's getting out of there on the elevated position, it's not that nice, but whatever you have, we got that too. Nice option right here. And this, also, the Nano Swarm is going to disappear at one moment. moment. But do they know Soulcast is that close around? Just a quick reload behind it. Obviously, the smartest move to do. And they didn't seem to have that on the radar. No, this cannot happen. This is not the way it should go. This is not the way it should go. Hogion is trying his best. But this is pretty much done. This round is going in favor of Liquid 100%. We said something very similar when we saw Guild there on Icebox. And here they come. That's fast. That's swift. They are definitely keen to get them from many different positions. Spike is just waiting. Oh, the timing could be on. Nope, it's not the case. Scream is making a far move deep into spawn. And if he hits the right timing, he might just get them all. This could be a magic moment for him. At the point he's moving around, he does. Now he turns around. And how many kills is he getting? One, two, that's a good start. The triple might be secured. No, it's gonna happen. Yes, it is. That is more than enough, but it's still possible. It's still the opportunity for Nairobi G to make a move right here. Asedi though falls. The smokes are pretty much non-existent and you gotta fight against free. You're standing out in the open and there you have it. A brilliant shot to end it. It's Liquid with that 13 to nine. And that was quite difficult towards the end. OBG really showed us what they're capable of doing. But Liquid, throughout the day, I would say they have been showing us that they made a lot of progress. And just overall in the grand scheme of things, a 2-0 win. The first game with Nevera, it's everything that you want to start off with this tournament. There's plenty that Liquid could work on, but it doesn't start better than a 13-0.